Just like the video title says, today I want to talk about stress and anxiety for mobile DJs, which is something that I experience. It is almost 5 a.m. Monday morning, and I'm experiencing it as we speak. So I thought I'd go ahead and turn the camera on and vlog. I'll try to stay on point as much as possible and not repeat myself too much. Wedding season in Wisconsin starts in probably May, and it runs through maybe the beginning of November. Sometimes I'm working most every weekend. Yet I am stressed all summer long. Why? Sometimes when I'm having a problem, I have to analyze the situation to figure out how I can resolve it. I'm trying to take the same approach with this stress and anxiety thing. I guess the first question I can ask myself is, do I like my job? Yeah, I do. I like being a DJ. Do I feel like I'm good at my job? Yeah, I do. I've been doing it since the 80s. I feel like I'm a pretty good DJ. Do I have performance anxiety? No, that's not been a problem. In fact, it was never a problem. Don't mind getting up in front of crowds. And in fact, when I'm in the process of DJing an event, I don't really feel stress. It doesn't bother me. How about my equipment? Is it reliable? Yeah, it is. Is it quality? Yes. Can it handle the job at hand or the task at hand? As far as the lighting goes, the sound, am I going ahead and, and succeeding with my sound objectives at events? I am. And I think I've got pretty good ones. I have real happy clients and guests at my events, my sound and my lighting. I get compliments on it a lot. How about the planning process? Can I create a timeline for an event? Yeah, I can. I'm pretty good at it. In fact, I can even organize things like wedding ceremonies. I can direct wedding ceremonies. I've done it before because I've seen it so much. Let's say somebody's cousin gets ordained and they're going to come and do their wedding and they've never done a wedding before and they're nervous about how all their procedures are going to work and how this should happen. They'll let me know. And I've come in and directed these things. I've done several of them. It's, it's been a minute. But I've directed wedding ceremonies, and, and that's not even a problem. I'm confident in doing it. Doing it doesn't stress me out. Creating the timeline doesn't even really stress me out. Although, although when I think about it, if it's a situation where I'm not getting all the information from the client that I need, that can be a point of stress. You figure timeline creation shouldn't take you that long. You can knock it out relatively quick let's say within an hour even with discussion but if people are unsure of what song goes here what song they want there or what they want to do here you know if there's unknowns as to what they want to do or what songs they want and i have to wait for them at their leisure to let me know what they are that is absolutely a point of stress how about the clients themselves just in general I think that's a big point of stress. And, and the reason why is because I try to be so incredibly empathetic with my clients that sometimes I let their stress project onto me. And when I do that, it stresses me out. I start second guessing myself. I know how to do an event like a wedding, you could call me right now and say, hey, I need you to do a wedding in two hours. If my truck's loaded, I could go there, set up, and DJ the wedding. Not a problem. I can make it happen. I could fudge it. Absolutely. I'm confident that way. I feel like I'm that good. But when other people have anxiety or nerves about an event, because it's a big day for them, Sometimes that projects onto me. And it shouldn't. And I'll assure them, hey, look, everything's going to be fine. We've got this. You've got this. And I talk them off the ledge. But I'm still on the ledge because I'm sitting over here saying, gee, is this going to be okay? Well, duh. It always is. So maybe that's not something I should be as stressed about. Maybe I should tell myself 
when things like that pop up, that it's not real. It's going to be okay. Don't let their nerves or anxiety or fear influence you. Don't let that screw up your week it does me a lot I don't know the only other thing I can think of that stresses me out is when people throw hand grenades at me last minute I did a last minute event recently and when I talked to them initially I'm like look are we going to keep this easy they're like oh yeah we want easy I'm like okay cool so I got their information what songs they wanted we did a quick timeline they were super happy but when I get there, the mom's like, well, we need to do the shoe game. Well, I don't do the shoe game a lot. I mean, I've done it, but it's not something I do at every event. It's not something I recommend anybody do, but some people want to do it because they Googled weddings and some page popped up where they said you should do the shoe game and they listed five pages of shoe game questions. And they're all worded like, who is most likely to catch the house on fire? Who is most likely to be arrested? You got to field these questions per client. Let's say that you're doing a wedding for somebody whose house burnt down. You probably don't want to ask them the house on fire question. Or maybe you're doing a wedding for somebody who did some time. Maybe you don't want to do that question. Maybe it could be sensitive to them. You got to field this stuff. And I got to word this stuff in a way that sounds like something a human being would say. Because I would never get on a microphone and say, who is most likely to, and then the next thing, who is most likely, who is most likely for five pages? Now, I do a page of questions. I word them in a way that makes sense. And I try to customize them per client. But the mother of the bride at this particular event just handed me the five page printout from Wedding Wire or Wedding Planner or Wedding Hack or whatever the website was. Now you might say, well, big deal, Bri. Work it out. I can't see that print. I need reading glasses for small fonts. When I do my timelines, it's big print. And I put some things even in bold, like songs. And it's really hard to kind of edit questions on the fly. You're not going to ask all of them. So what I did was, at that particular event, was I took this five pages of stuff, I put it aside, and I tried to just do it off memory. Because I couldn't read this stuff for nothing. Not a big deal. That kind of stuff doesn't happen a lot. But when things like that do happen, that is a point of stress and anxiety for me. There are other times when, let's say, an event comes from outside. It's a subcontract of some kind. And things are promised that you know will be very difficult to deliver in a successful manner. One example would be really long events. If somebody else says, oh yeah, we sold it to him. You start at 2 and you go to midnight. <sighs> really? That's too much. I, I can't do an event for that long. Not by myself. Uh, multiple setups and breakdowns. I've got one of those this weekend. If I don't have help, it's a little stressful. Even with a little micro battery powered system for ceremony. When I book events, I'm confident that I can do the event that I just interviewed for. And the client is confident enough in my abilities to hire me. But when stuff comes from an outside source, sometimes it's a point of stress. But yeah, I think what I have to do is tell myself when a client is nervous that those are their nerves, not mine. I know this is going to be fine. They're doubts or their insecurities or whatever they are are all theirs because at the end of the night they're going to tell me how much they liked it they're going to be so happy that it was better than they expected i like under promising and over delivering i'm not that dj who comes in and says you're going to have the best wedding ever because that puts expectations here if anything goes wrong you're the bad guy i would rather put expectations here it's like you know it's going to be really nice i think it's going to be fine and then everything goes wonderful. Yeah, that's all the headroom you need for, for praise and for referrals and for tips and for hugs 
and for thank you cards. That's the good stuff for me anyway. That's how it works for me. Um, yeah, I got to learn to deal with it. And I got to learn to figure out what the problem is and if there's anything that I'm doing that's causing stress in the process of planning these events, I need to fix it and not do it anymore. Because, quite frankly, I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> I can't do this stress. I want to enjoy my summer. I've got six days between events, typically. And I shouldn't be spending those six days pulling my hair out. I should be enjoying my summer. Otherwise, I'd work a 9-to-5 like everybody else. And then have the whole weekend to enjoy myself. All right, that's it, guys. Turn the camera off. Weird video today. But if you're experiencing stress as well, please let me know in the comment section. And if you know why you're experiencing stress, let us know. If you got any ideas for me, let me know. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Practice and enjoy.